Hey, I'm Antonio Graceffo. This is Martial Arts Odyssey. Today I'm back in Phnom Penh, Cambodia at Patty's Fight Club and I'm with Ramon, an 18-year-old Cambodian amateur boxer that's destined for great things. Ramon's had 10 fights now. He's doing exceptionally well and at the same time Patty's been training him to be a trainer. And not only can he teach children, he can teach adults and foreigners. Even though we're so much bigger than he is, he can still hold the pads for us. He's truly amazing. Ramon rides his bicycle 10 kilometers each way to the gym to train every day. He generally earns about $50 for an amateur boxing fight in Cambodia, plus he gets a little bit of tips from the spectators. And with that money, he helps to support his family. Here's a photo montage showing Ramon easily winning his last fight. He is so much better than the competitors. It's incredible. Patty has really trained him well. Here's some footage of Ramon easily beating me in a boxing match. The kid is absolutely incredible. He's got speed, he's got talent, he's got hand-eye coordination, he's got everything. Ramon might go on to be one of the first Khmer's ever to hold a world boxing title. Ramon was kind enough to take us to his house today and let us introduce you to his family. <laughs> How many people are in his family? <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm. The right now live four and two live in province. Live in the province. So four people, Ramon, his mother, his father, and his younger sister, all share this single concrete room. They're sitting on a raised bamboo dais, which in Cambodia serves as both a traditional bed and an eating table, basically the main piece of furniture in the house. In front of Ramon's house, a small charcoal cooker burns all day. This is where the family cooks all their meals. Does this Ramon go to school? <laughs> No, Ramon did not go to school because his family does not have money uh -huh. to pay him. And little sister go to school? Yeah. Yeah. Does the family go to watch Ramon boxing? Yeah. And uh, what, does, what does mother think when she watches Ramon boxing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Afraid scared. Afraid scared. But uh, right now, you time to time do a lot. She's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> How many times did Ramon fight now? Ramon Ten times. Ten times. What do they hope for future for Ramon? Do they want Ramon to be a boxer for job, or do they want him to do a different job? Uh, he said he wants Ramon to have another job, but right now, what he has, Ramon has boxer, he was boxer, yeah. Uh. But he said he wants Ramon to uh, go to school. What do they think about uh, Patty? Uh, he said uh, that's okay. He he hope the he teacher, the yeah. teacher can help him and all of the teacher, the teacher so much because the the teacher help him have them. Then he he doesn't have job. Yeah. Uh, the teacher called him to work at the... Oh, at the boxing? Uh, at, the, at the boxing. They call, call Ramon's father to work at the boxing? Uh-huh. What, uh, what job does Ramon's father do now? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, construction. Yeah, build that yeah. But you don't not pay much. I don't know what he's doing. How much? 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 How
The going rate for construction labor in Cambodia is about $3 a day. But since the global economic downturn, a lot of the construction projects have been halted, particularly those funded by South Korea. Construction workers in Cambodia are basically itinerant workers. They may find two or three days work in a row and then go 10, 10 days or two weeks or a month without finding anything. At $3 a day, if they worked full time, that would be $90 a month. But today it's impossible to find 30 days of work. My translator, Saiha, tells me that the rent on the small concrete apartment is probably $20 to $25 a month. So even in a best case scenario of the father earning $90 a month, paying a $25 rent only leaves $65 for food, petrol, electricity, and all the other expenses related to raising a family of four. Family is extremely dependent on the $50 that Ramon earns from boxing. Be happy and yes, live a happy okay. life. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he thinks the uh, next time he he can work and have family. Mm. One of the many problems facing poor families in Cambodia is that although the fees for the government school are modest. There are mandatory additional hours which students have to pay privately if they wish to pass exams. Teachers withhold the most important information and only give it out during separate paid private tutorials. Students who can't afford to pay these fees will fail their exams and they can't graduate. And this is one thing that prevents a lot of poor families from being able to put their children through school. They can't afford the additional fees. I'm Antonio Grisefo and that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. I am in Phnom Penh, Cambodia and I'm with Ramon, the excellent amateur boxer who's on his way up and we're hoping he's going to break into the world scene someday. As always at the end of every episode of Martial Arts Odyssey I say get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work and please say a prayer for Ramon's family, say a prayer for the people of Shan State and say a prayer for the Cambodian people. So